Well, and I think, uh, you know, it's even a bigger point than that. I mean, this isn't just about snowmobiling, right? I mean, the, the frustration that people are feeling is due to the inconsistencies. I mean, I can go cross-country skiing with 60 other people on the trail, but I can't go snowmobiling with full gear and a full face mask. I can go to Walmart with 500 other people in there, but I can't go skating on the outdoor rinks. Uh, I mean, I can go walk my dog on a trail with 40 other people that I pass in that narrow trail, but I, I can't do some of these other things. And, and um, you know, it, it really is from, from the perspective of the medical officer of health, it, the, the issue is non-essential out of town travel. He's trying to limit people from coming into our district. But my argument to that is that people are coming into our district for more non-essential reasons than snowmobiling. They're coming here to see friends and family every weekend. They're coming here to ice fish every day. They're uh, coming here to get out of the city just to get away for a few days. They're coming here and shopping at Walmart and our grocery stores and our LCBO on their way to their camp every day. Uh, so if we want to if we want to curb non-essential travel, I wish that they would address the non-essential travel issue as, instead of just pointing at, at snowmobiling or, or various other groups and, uh, and tackling it that way. If the issue is non-essential travel, let's deal with non-essential travel as some other regions have. Which gets me to my next question, because when this was first announced, there was a, a shock wave and you specifically told your uh, sledding community Please don't protest because you had heard rumors there were going to be a protest. You basically urged them to stand down. And I'm surprised that there hasn't been a more public vocal outcry. The, the sledders are grumbling, but they haven't really, you know, caused a, a scene. There hasn't been picket lines set up or protests. Do you think that's going to escalate or de-escalate? Uh, you know, I like to think that that will, uh, that we will remain calm on this. I mean, I think that it is always an inappropriate move to to uh, stage a protest that's illegal. There are lots of ways to make your point and lots of ways to protest in a legal fashion. And, uh, and, and we want to certainly maintain that level of decorum for sure. Uh, but to your other point, are people getting increasingly frustrated the longer that this goes on for sure? Um, but uh, with any luck, we're down to a few days left of this and as long as the province lifts the the uh, current stay at home and uh, states of emergency, then then we'll be good to go. So with any luck, fingers, toes and eyes crossed, we're we're down to a few days.